Hello, children. My name's Alia2, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Victoria 2, the HPM mod with Scandinavia. In the last episode, we kind of just sat around and watched the world burn. Yeah, Russia, yet again, falling to, I believe it was presidential dictatorship, and then back to fascists. I believe that's what happened. France having a massive communist rebellion. Oh, and fascists. Yeah, fascists and communists are coming in. Wow. Uh, France also got destroyed by Spain, Italy, and North Germany. <laughs> See, also Lorraine is its own country. Uh, Italy took uh, Rhone and Provence. And Spain took these provinces near the border. Yeah. Oh, and all of uh, France got collapsed. The entire French nation collapsed. It's all gone. There's no more. It's dead. What is this land? Oh, th was this Germanic land? I think this might have been Germanic land. Yeah, might have been. Oh, well, good. Now that we have it. Uh, hopefully in this episode, we can finish the game. Yeah, only six years left. Let's uh, finish this off with a nice bronze medal. I'm fine with that one. Oh, the U U.S. took uh, the first place. Congratulations. Mongolia goes bankrupt. Hey, that's fine. I don't care, Mongolia. Loan interest. The Qing still are not civilized. Oh, Joe's on now civilized. Cool. Uh, Persia, how you doing? You are 50th. Wow, 50th. I would have expected more from you, but whatever. Our factories. Uh, let's support them. Boop. Yeah, we spent 200,000 on building more factories, but hey, it's worth it. Oh no, communists! Right! So here's the problem with this. Um, if we don't send troops over there, we will lose that, and Cambodia will be released. So I'm not gonna lose it. Instead, let's just release it. Mm, Cambodia. There it is. There you go. Congratulations, Cambodia. And now the communists are gonna, what, walk all the way over to me? Nah, they're dead. Well, Cambodia, you're now a satellite. Good luck with that. Are you uncivilized? Yeah, you're uncivilized. Oh. Uh-oh. A diplomatic incident with one of the with one of our enemies has outraged Scandinavian citizens several weeks ago. An envoy said, uh, whatever. So we get dismantle nation on North Germany. We already did that, so that would do nothing. Yeah, sure, let's do it. I mean, we're not going to actually declare war. We just did that so we don't won't, don't lose 200 prestige. Speaking of which, yeah, if we did that, then Italy would become number three, and I w I don't want that. Italy is getting very close to us. In the rankings. And that is not good. Here. Let us. Oh, communist riot. Riot. Uh, no more violence. Let's just all become communists. I don't care. Let's make more planes. Got the planes down in Africa. Yeah, that's fine. Go crazy. We can actually build them, right? I know we built a, like, 60,000 group up there. In uh, Scandinavia? Yep, we're building them. How fun. Right, Danzig. All these people are in my sphere, right? Yes, they are. Okay, good. As long as no one screws with us, then we'll be fine. All right, fine. Austria-Hungary? We can be allies. No declaring war. Please. They're totally going to declare war, aren't they? Oh, hyperinflation. That doesn't sound good at all, but let's check it out. Wait, do we not have acceptable healthcare? No, we do. Uh, yeah, force it through. Everyone needs dental care. Everyone. France, we're no longer allies. Yes, we are. Why do you do this, France? Why do you do this? Just fix your country, country France. I'm gonna need you, eventually. Probably. Oh, Kamchatka! Fascist coup! Congratulations! They're in the sphere of Russia. Hot dog. Tax efficiency is going up. Speaking of which, what is your main... Yeah, your main population is Russian. So wouldn't it make sense if Russia ate you? 
Like you joined Russia as a state or something. I would I would assume that could happen. I may be wrong there though. I may be wrong. Oil and coal liquefi liquefaction plant. Is that like we can make our own oil? I guess. Maybe I think that added it was added in with the mod. I think I may have been wrong there. We've got to ban North Germany from these locations. Right, there you go. Now, it really sucks how we aren't able to build a crap ton of ships. I mean, we could, honestly. Yeah, might as well. Oh, wow, we have a lot of them. Just build, like, 20 monitors, was that? Or ironclads? Ironclads, yeah. They're horribly out of date. I don't care. Oh, hey, fascists. You're actually trying to be a thing. How cute. How many clerks we got? Only 0.86. That is not enough clerks. We need more. Of course, that's considering all of Scandinavia and not, like, not just the Scandinavian Scandinavia, but, like, the the uh, African provinces, too. Yeah, sure, whatever. All right, we are done with almost all technology. Only four years left in the game. And what a momentous four years it shall be. I mean, not much will happen. Honestly, I, I hope nothing else will happen. All right, liberals increasing. Naval base size increase. Let's just get as much technology as we can get, just to make us look cool. Nothing? You're not going to be able to touch us at all, Germany. Come on, try. I dare you. Just try. Are you guys able to build more things now? I hope so. Tenth Olympic Games, of course. Of course we shall join. Why would you not join? You just get more prestige. It's awesome. Ah, uh, we're running low on money again. I wonder why. There's nothing we can really do. I guess we can increase tariffs, but... I don't want to increase it even more than what it already is. That social spending's a lot, too. Don't like social spending. Not one bit. Summit of Equals! Oh! United States? Uh, sure, let's try. They refused. How, what an insult. Well, they were already at negative 190 for whatever reason. I don't know why they were so pissed off at us. Seems quite odd. You know, I just realized, what's the migrations like? Wow, a thousand people. A thousand people running away. How depressing. Probably mostly in Africa, from Africa. Yeah, probably. No planned economy. That's a horrible idea. Speaking of Africa, do we have any provinces where uh, any Scandinavian people are taking over? No? No, I guess not. Diplomatic incidents. Oh. Wait, the Turkish Socialist Republic loses 20? No, we lose 20. Ah. Amazing. Oh, no. Italy's going to overtake us. Damn. That really sucks. We're gonna be fourth place. We're not even gonna be cool enough to be third. That really sucks, though. That's costing me so much. Navy not even remotely close. Yeah, planes. Oh, God. The amount of planes we need. I just realized why I should not build so many planes. <laughs> well, it's the end of the game. I'll let the next generation be scared about that. Russian Patriots? Oh, God. Oh, God. 102,000? Well, they're all slaughtered now, but still. 102,000 just died from that one province. That's a lot of people. <sighs> that, that, that's a lot of people. Yeah, definitely Ingre or Petrograd, as it's called right now. Petrograd is not very unified. Wow. So they actually elected the correct person? I'm honestly surprised. Good job. What? Our province has now been brought under control. Uh, I don't know what you were talking about. I mean, we already controlled everything, I would hope. I mean, again, I would at least hope that we controlled everything. Whatever. All right, Navy is getting better and better. Uh, only three years left. Right, 
excellent. Running even lower on money, heck, just tariff it all. Tariff it all. And even then, that's not enough. Because the tariffs dropped almost 3,000. And just everything is costing more because of the amount of tariffs we got. North Germany at war with France. Why? Liberation of Upper Bavaria. Yeah, screw you, North Germany. But uh, go crazy. It's not like you're going to form uh, Germany anytime soon. Not without Holst uh, Schleswig or no, Holstein. Sucks to suck, Germany. Sucks to suck. Almost 1% clerks, finally. What's our population like in these areas? Almost 1 million. Yeah, we're not... We're not like a, um... Huge amount of population in Scandinavia at all. Yeah, not even close. Most of it's in Egypt, Nigeria, and Ethiopia. There's a lot of people in Ethiopia. It's weird. Enable decision making. Blue and brown water. Schools. Whatever. Not that many years left. Oh boy, we have an amazing navy now. How helpful is that? It's totally helpful. Ah, uh, they're only 20 behind us now. Damn. Whatever. I mean, for the fact that Scandinavia is going to be number four. Four. I, I assume that's pretty good, right? Like that that has to be considered, you know, some amount of success. How are they winning? It looks as though you're losing. Oh, wait, no, you're getting the, the uh, French are getting slaughtered. Yeah, North Germany simply has too many troops. Now, if we came in, I don't know why they didn't call us in. Oh, right, because it was a um their sphere, yeah. They're, they, 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 in fact, it wasn't even their sphere, since it's Bavaria. Bavaria is under who? No, it's, it's under uh, France, never mind. So, yeah, so they can't call us in. Wow, we stuck at 95.2% literacy? I mean, I guess that's good. That, I mean, I guess that includes all of the Africans as well, so. Yeah, that's pretty good literacy for us. Everyone speaks... Swedish. What would be the main language? Oh, I guess it would be Swedish because that's the, you know, first class citizens. And the capitals in Swe and, uh, Sweden. Oh, most of the people are in Sweden. Yeah, I guess the first language would, would be Swedish. Sure, be more socialists. See if I give a damn. Whatever. Maybe build time. Uh, Anti-aircraft. Oh boy. Colon colonial wariness. No. Gain one consciousness. I'm cool with that. You're still trying to get in there, huh? You're not getting in Luxembourg. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Well, Austria hungry. Nope, not getting in there either. Max Navy speed. Main armament. The natives are restless. Oh no. Now, the amount of ironclads I've been getting, I assume I would be pushing, you know, with Italy. I don't know how they're making more so much. It's simply, I guess, industry? But we have a pretty damn good industry, too. Huh. Maybe we just don't have enough population in our mainland, because there aren't any factories in Africa, sadly. Well, we're really close together. Look at that. What are they increasing? It's just industry. Industry is increasing so much. Like, every couple days, they're getting a point in industry. I mean, I guess so are we. I don't know. Maybe if we uh, did craftsmen instead. Cause clerks, there aren't as many clerks as craftsmen. Need a lot more. What's the population like? Oh, right. The Africans kind of screwed over. Anti-Colonial League. Yeah, you can be more conscious. I don't care. I'm not conscious. Uh, militant. I don't care. Right, Navy build time. You see, with the amount of militancy these uh, we're getting right now, you would assume in the next age, you know, in Hearts of Iron, everything would just collapse. I mean, I guess that's what happens with, you know, the fascists and communists and stuff like that. But still. 
Like, everything would just collapse. So many rebellions. So little time. Look how quick they're making... That is stupid how quick they're getting it. Like, absolutely stupid. I hate that. I hate that so much. Here. More navies. Just build, like, 50. 50 more. Till the end of the game. Speaking of the end of the game, we're closing in on it. Does it end 1935 the January of, or is it 1936 the January of? I have no idea. Alright, excellent. Yeah, they're almost 100 ahead of us already. That's, that's ridiculous. How are they doing that? Huh, whatever. Uh, reform the Scandinavian Colonial Army, finally. Hot dog. Navy risk management. I don't think. Oh no, we'll, we will get it before the end of the game. Good for us. The only time I ever s actually researched naval tags at the very end of the game. Yeah, that makes sense. Ah. All right. Uh, <laughs> should we get? Should we bring it down to four-year draft? I don't know. Uh, yeah, send an official letter saying, we're not going to attack you. We're friends. Fascist soup kitchens. Yeah, sure. Be more militant. I don't care. Take us over. Let us be part of the Axis or whatever. Something like that. Yeah, this would be a very weird, weird world in uh, Hearts of Iron 4. More socialists in the upper house. Sure. How at 50%. 49% socialists. Very socially progressive. Wow, we have lost so much money. Look at that. They're almost 200 ahead of us. How is that happening? Maybe we should have focused more on uh, craftsmen. Maybe. Probably. Alright. Is this the end? I think it's the end. No. All right. So it is 1936. That's what doesn't Hearts of Iron Force start in 1935, or is it 1936? I have no idea. Danzig, still trying to get in there, huh? Not gonna happen. Almost 45 percent. It's almost half the people are um, in actual Scandinavia are actually. Uh... Wait, you're you're supporting farmers? Why are you supporting farmers? In Stockholm. It's Stockholm. Why would you do that? Well, that is Malmo. Uh, Malmo, that one. The most southern part. Okay, you know, that makes sense. Alright, getting all those ships. Uh, North Germany? Yeah, sure, let's do it. It's a success! What? What? Negative 200, and it's a success, a smashing success. What? They're oh, and now we're not allied anymore. Yeah, that made sense. That made perfect sense. <laughs> what? Uh, whatever. Uh, steam turbine ships, we will get that after. No, right the last day of the game. Nice. We'll get Dreadnought the last day of the game. That makes sense, right? Oh, and hey! What? Iceland, Iceland and Greenland! Finally! Finally! We can make a state! Huzzah! Great! I'd say that's a good, good thing to leave off on. Iceland and uh, Greenland no longer just little colonial provinces. Now they actually matter! <laughs> they actually matter now. Uh, oh, oh, God, oh, God. No, ban them. Ban them. Bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. It doesn't matter anyway. They wouldn't be able to take them before the end of the game. Fantastic. I don't even know why I care about this right now. But, yeah, get out of Luxembourg. Not Luxembourg. Lithuania as well. Uh, Put this down quickly. Elections to Scandinavia. Well, it doesn't matter because the game's over. The game is over. Oh, I thought we were supposed to complete it.
<laughs> oh, it just reads this as the end of the game, so of course it has to be the end. There you go. All right. End of the game. 100 momentous years have passed, and we have entered the modern age. The world is a radically different place. How did your country do? I'd say it did pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. Uh, I wish I could move this, but I can't. Uh, let's just look at the world right now. Ching. Uncivilized. Jozon, Japan, British, India has taken over most of the lands. The Ottomans have actually survived as the Turkish Socialist Republic and continue to rule over mo most of the Balkans. And Arabia. They also still own Libya. We own all of this land. Most of what Britain would have owned, but they don't. Italians rule all over here. We've split Ethiopia in half. Which doesn't seem like a good thing. South Africa is a thing. Uh, South America looks the exact same as it should, with still the Empire of Brazil. You have Cuba, Haiti. Dominican Republic still has not popped out of Haiti. Haiti is a proletarian dictatorship. So is Cuba. Let's see, Costa Rica, Republic, Nicaragua, Republic, 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 Republic. You have the Empire of Mexico, the United States, and Canada as a free. Nation. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of Canada, let's look at New Zealand and Australia. That's pretty cool. Scandinavia. Oh, yeah, we own that lands because uh, we took it from Germany. Right. And, of course, Europe. Wow, is it just ugly as hell. Oh, well, there you go. Let's quit. And there we have it. The end of the game. It's quite an interesting game, quite different. I liked playing as Scandinavia, unifying the country. Sadly, I could not keep the third place. All because of Italy. Italy annoys me. America doing very well over there. A thousand points more than the UK. That doesn't usually happen. Japan sitting behind us. 1,900 points. Find that France, North Germany, and Russia. France and North Germany actually fell apart. In fact, the German Empire never even formed, and North Germany only formed through rebels. That is impressive. Now we have Canada, which actually isn't that far from being a great power. They were a great power, power at one point. And have the Dutch, Saxony. <laughs> Saxony actually being powerful. Uh, Mexico. Mexico is actually pretty powerful. Austria-Hungary, of course. Spain. Pretty influential. Poland. Actually freed in this game. And, of course, Belgium. Looking at the ledger uh, comparisons. So, I don't even understand how these people get 100% literacy. I guess they are just one province miners. Yeah. Oh, Bavaria. Nice job. Most amount of ships was UK, of course, and Japan. It's South Africa. Cool. Most population. So, we had the Qing. Not the Qing. The United Kingdom at first, uh, because of India, of course. The Qing, the United States, at 145 million that's really good. That's half the population we have today. And, of course, us, with 10 million less than them. Who has the most provinces? It is United Kingdom, and we are right behind them, with only 42 provinces less. Amount of factories, United States beats everyone. Leadership, we win in leadership. I don't know how. Most amount of brigades was the United States, with 581. 180 more than the UK. All right, political systems... Uh, ideologies. We have one anarcho-liberal. Really? Uh, a couple communists. No one too influential. Lots of conservatives. Fascists rose up in these lands. Russia. Russia being the most influential. Liberals. Reactionaries. Again, no one important. Socialists. And that's all. Uh, political reforms. Anyone still have slavery? Uh, wait, there it is. Actually, a lot of people still have slavery. Vietnam and all those little countries I don't even know. Uh, who had the best? I'd say we had the best. Let's just say that. Yeah, that's all illegal. Okay, good. Country population. Who had the most soldiers? Actually, who had the least? Tanutuvo with 126 soldiers. How pathetic. U.S. with the most, of course... Uh, da, 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 da. who are the most these? Wow, we did not have enough. Definitely not enough capitalists. 
Yeah, not enough uh, craftsmen either. Uh, look at our own provinces, province production, yeah, all that other fun stuff. Well, that should be it. Wow. Back to Victoria too, I guess. Yeah. It's been fun. Been fun doing this. I don't think I'm going to do another Victoria 2 campaign again. I think I may go back to Hearts of Iron 4, maybe. I know they've updated the game quite a bit. Maybe I can redo my uh, Swedish campaign. I don't know. But anyways, this has been quite an interesting campaign. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Alier 2, and I'll see you guys in the next series. Goodbye.